Hey, what's up? So this is a serious video. If you're a Windows user, you should watch it because you're the only one who can understand the pain. And after watching this video, I'm sure that you will never get into the problem that I got in. So basically yesterday, I got into a problem on my Windows 11 computer. It could happen on any computer, Windows 11, 10, 8, 7, whatever Windows you use. So basically last night, uh, on my Windows computer, the start menu and search will not open. Even the CPU usage was high, the start menu was not working and Windows report uh, application was opening and closing uh, automatically, so which was causing a high CPU usage. I watched many videos, many tutorials on Google and YouTube, couldn't find a solution how to fix the start menu is not opening on Windows 10, 11. This could happen on any computer. And then I booted my Windows to the safe mode and finally I got the error message saying background task host exe system error. So this error was not popping up when I normally boot my windows. So in safe mode, it would actually show me what is the problem. And again, I went to the YouTube, Google, look for the solution, couldn't find any. So I was like, okay, I was hopeless, like nothing is working. So I need to reinstall the windows and that would obviously fix the issue. So almost I was about to do that. I wasted around two hours to watch uh, tutorials and look for the fixes. But <laughs> luckily, there was a restore point created by Virtual Box. That's the program that I installed last time. And after that, I had that issue. So I played with the Virtual Box at the daytime. And uh, when I turned off my computer and at the night time, when I came back and turned on my computer, I saw that the start menu is dead. That was the problem. So it was caused by VirtualBox. I'm not saying that VirtualBox is a bad software. I don't know. Sometimes it just happens. You know, even the Windows uh, updates cause some serious problems. Like, for example, there was a Windows 10 update which caused uh, deleting files from the system. So how I fixed this problem? basically using a system restore point and you know believe it or not even though i am a windows user and you know that i make uh, tutorials on windows and whatnot but still i never make a system restore point i'm that dumb can you believe that so now on every time if you install a new software or new windows update please make system restore point so you can undo the changes if there are any problems after installing the software or uh, a windows update yeah creating a system restore point is like must do thing <laughs> okay it might sound like a joke okay it's not a big deal everyone knows about the system restore point but no one actually takes it seriously okay i'm one of those but now i am taking it seriously so i was lucky that virtual box itself software actually created a restore point for my system so i was lucky to you know undo the changes and i fixed my start menu if the virtual box didn't create the uh, system restore point you know just imagine i had to reinstall windows i had to uh, back up my files i had to install all the games all the whatever softwares i have actually I have a gta 5 so imagine downloading a gta 5 game which is like the largest game out there so <laughs> so the thing is here okay i fixed the problem i was lucky okay uh, because there was a restore point but you know I cannot be lucky all the time okay so here is my suggestion and this is what I'm gonna do now on my Windows computer every time if there is a Windows update I'm gonna create a system restore point so I can undo the changes if there is any problem after updating the Windows second if you do any major changes to your computer such as uh, editing a registry editors okay so I'm gonna make a 
uh, system re restore point so I can go back and do the changes whatever I have done and the last one probably the most dangerous one every time you install a software it doesn't matter if it's the size of a ant or a elephant okay you should create a system restore point so you can undo the changes if you get into any trouble on your windows after installing that program okay i'm getting too aggressive now so basically you know after what happened to my computer last night i mean system restore point is a must use feature on windows okay as i said everyone knows it maybe you also know it okay you know it right you know the system restore point on windows what it can do okay but do you use it actually maybe maybe you use it but people still ignore this feature uh, this feature is really powerful because it can undo any changes uh, to the computer after you have created the system restore point so yeah <laughs> that's it I i'm talking too much i know that okay i know that but this is some serious issue, okay? I think, not I think, it is a serious issue. So that's it, I'm not gonna talk too much. I will actually make a dedicated video on this topic where I'll show you how to use system restore point just in case if you don't know. And I will also show you uh, how to automate the system restore point every day so you don't have to do it manually, okay? and uh, if that's possible okay i think it, it is possible so let me just learn first and then uh, i'll make a dedicated tutorial video on it as i said everybody knows about this feature but nobody uses this feature but from now on i'm also going to use it and i'm also going to make videos on it so other people can use it and they will never get into the trouble so that's it hope you enjoyed it i'm not going to talk too much so if you have any questions suggestions do the comment and let's just talk in the comments that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye-bye.